Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. It's Mark. Well, we're going to change the oil today. I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how you can save yourself quite a bit of money and ultimately a lot of time. Uh, depending on your Bass Pro Shops and how busy they are or Tracker Marine Outlet or whoever, whatever dealer you choose to use, there could be a backup. So you can do this for about 40 bucks in your own garage and save a ton of money. First thing you need is the kit. Okay, Quicksilver is made by Mercury. So you don't have to use Mercury. You can save yourself a little bit of money by using the Quicksilver brand. It's the same stuff. If you notice, you can use it on the 40, 50, or 60 horsepower engine. Now, depending on the time of year, you can use 1030 when it gets colder, but it's recommended to use 2540 uh, in the warmer applications. So it calls for three quarts. The kit also comes with the filter. Now, see that number right there? That's the filter size that you need for a 40, 50, or 60. They're all the same. It doesn't jive with the one on the motor, that part number, but this part number is applicable. It does come with a new crush washer when you put the bolt back on for the drain hole. You'll need a ratchet with a three quarter inch socket. Of course, you wanna drain it, change your filter, and then fill it full of oil. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's real quick, and like I said, it's gonna save you a ton of money and time. Here we go. All right, you're gonna need an oil pan. I have some cardboard here just to stop any kind of spillage. That's water, by the way. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is raise the motor to the travel height when you have your transom saver on. It doesn't have to be exact, but pretty close. Maybe a skosh more. All right, so you can see that angle right there. It's gonna help us drain the oil. Now, you wanna turn your motor outboard. This is gonna help it drain. Like I said, you need a three quarter socket to do this oil change. So you wanna be ready too, cause it's gonna come out, right? And there's the oil. My crush washer actually looks pretty good, but we're still gonna change it. It came with the kit. It doesn't take any more time. I mean, we're talking seconds to, to swap it out. I'm lowering the pan down into position and as that, as it flows out, it's gonna get closer to the motor. So you wanna give yourself some room for that so it doesn't get all over your garage floor. While I'm letting that just drain, I'm gonna, I want it all out of there. So as it continues to drip, you can clean up your bolt. You can get your cr old crush washer uh, away from there and install it on the new bolt and just be prepared. So that's what we're gonna do. You wanna have some rags handy that you don't care about, clearly, because oil is nasty and it gets all over everything and baby t would kill me if i threw greasy rags in the washer so there we go a little tiny screwdriver will help too just to get that washer out boom done as you can see it's still dripping right here so we still have time i want to like i said i want to get this completely clear of the old oil as good as you can we're gonna get the new washer prepared. And in case you don't know, there's the number for the washer. Okay, so these washers are non-directional. You can do it either way. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna fit it over the bolt and kind of thread it on. I don't wanna wreck it at all, but there you go. Something that's real important too, uh, you know, environmentally speaking, when this is done draining, you wanna make sure and clean this up really good because anything that you leave on here will end up in the lake. And you know, that's not good for the fish or anybody. Something else, 
while we're waiting for this to continue draining, I want to bring up the fact that if you see any abnormalities in your oil, it should be black uh, for the most part. And if it's not, you might think about calling your dealer and scheduling an appointment to see what's going on. In my case, it's, it's perfect. You know, and this motor gets used a lot. So it's something that, uh, you know, you're, the, the main expense of your boat is going to be your outboard by far. So you really want to take care of it and it'll keep you on the water and happy for a long time if you just do these simple things. So we're basically at a drip now. So I'm going to clean this up and we're going to reinstall. You want to put a little bead of oil around this just with your finger. Just oil, nothing else. Don't use silicone, none of that. Just a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna use clean oil. So what I'm gonna do is open one of these and get just get some on my finger. Just go around it with some oil. Wipe this off a little bit. Just get any of that residue out of there. Now we're going to reinstall the drain plug. It calls for an 18 millimeter wrench in the directions. I don't have an 18 millimeter. You would never get a wrench on this in the first place because it's recessed. So you have to use a socket and a three quarter will suffice. You just want to get it in there finger tight and then go for snugging it down. And you don't want to absolutely crush it, but you do want it tight. And that's that. That's draining the oil, step one. Step two, we are going to remove the filter. We're going to put the motor back down. We're going to turn the motor back into a straight position. Not that you have to, but it's just easier to get things off and etc. All right, I'm gonna take the cowling off. And it doesn't hurt while you're in here to just poke around and make sure everything looks good. Obviously, this is your oil filter. So you gotta get this off. No problem. Before you take off the filter, the first thing that you wanna do is stuff a bunch of towels down in here because you don't want a bunch of oil in here for no reason. These things are very clean as they are. I moved my oil pan and my cardboard over just a little bit. When I pull this out, oil is naturally gonna come out of there and just to stop it from getting on the floor. Be careful not to disrupt any of your wiring. All we're trying to do is break the seal and then we can remove it by hand. Once you've broken that seal, you're just going to gently spin it out and you want to be pretty fast with this. Just get it off and get it out. And that's that. If you're also wondering, there is the mercury replacement numbers right here. Now we're just going to simply install the new fuel, new filter. And just like your car, you want to run a bead of oil with your finger around this gasket and then simply screw it in. Once you get it tight, you want to give it about a half to three quarter turn clockwise and that'll lock it in place and you're good to go. I'm just dipping my finger in the new oil. I'm just going to go ahead and saturate that gasket. Now we're going to thread it back on. Due to greasy fingers and stuff like that, make sure that you're tight. I used a paper towel to kind of achieve that. Now I'm going to put my wrench back on here the opposite direction. And all I'm going to do is snug it down, like I said, a little bit. Don't forget to take out your towels or what you whatever you use to protect that area once you've once you've done this. And go ahead and you know, if there's any residual oil in here, go ahead and clean it out at this point. Uh, if you don't, your motor's going to heat up and you will see some like 
black or gray, or, you know, you'll see gray smoke until that burns off, just like a car. But do, do the best you can at cleaning that up. It'll help the longevity of your outboard. Your oil fill is right on the back of your outboard, right there. So we're gonna unscrew this. There you go. Inspect your drain plug. Make sure everything's good. Go ahead and clean it up. Clean parts are happy parts. Inspect this rubber washer. Make sure there's no cracks. Everything looks good. So we're ready to add oil. All right, something else that's real important. You can't really just pour oil into it straight out of the out of the container. So you want to have yourself a funnel. You have to hold it in place, otherwise it just does that and the oil's gonna end up back on the floor. I'm gonna readjust my cardboard just in case I make a mess, which I'm hoping not to. We're gonna put three quarts of four stroke 2540 weight into the outboard. It is kind of a slow process. Uh, my funnel goes down to about a half inch on the other end. So with the thickness of the oil, it does take a second, but these seconds add up to a lot of savings when you're doing it yourself. So, and this isn't something that anybody can do this. This isn't a mechanic level process. Don't be afraid to do this. Just take a half hour or less out of your day. Spend 40 bucks on this kit. I bought this on Amazon for about $40, maybe 42, I forget, but it's right around that price range. All right, there's, there's one quart down. I wanna make sure you get it all out too. There's no point in wasting money by leaving a bit of oil in these quarts. Now we're gonna add our third quart and we'll be we'll put the cap back on. And there's one more step. All right, before you remove your funnel, make sure that it's clear of, of any oil and be prepared. Be prepared when you pull this out to catch anything that comes with it. You wanna go ahead and clean up the threads uh, where your fill cap goes. When you put this cap back on, you don't need to put any grease or oil on this at all. You want to go ahead and snug it down and the oil's changed. There's one more real important step though. I'm going to show you guys that in one second. You want to wipe down everywhere where you had, you know, go ahead and clean up our cap here a little bit. Got some greasy fingers. So of course it got a little black. The last and most important step of this, besides making sure everything's tight, you got to flush your motor basically for about five minutes at idle and inspect your drain plug and your oil filter and make sure they don't leak. And then you're done. So we're gonna do that right now. I gotta get the boat out of the garage because clearly I don't want water all over the floor of the garage. And that car doesn't have a hitch. So give me a minute. I gotta pull this out by hand. Of course I wait till the hottest day of the year to do this. In order to do this, all you need is a hose and some muffs. Don't put your cowling back on until you've done all this uh, flushing because you won't be able to see the oil filter. So here we go. All right, well, that's five minutes of run time. We have no leaks, we have success. So we just wanna shut it off. We've got the motor flushed, we have no leaks. We can go ahead and put our cowling back on. The next time you're on the water, just make sure and double check that you don't have an oil slick coming behind you and uh, you should be good to go. So that's how to change your oil real quick and save a couple hundred bucks and a lot of time. Take it easy, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the future.